Hi team, Brent King with King Outdoors. I'm gonna show you how I tie a snell knot. And I'm gonna use a snell knot in a heavier flipping application where I'm actually pegging the sinker down on top of the hook, on top of my bait. I've got a tool here with an eye. I want you to you know, visualize that this is a hook, a straight shank hook, okay? And I've got my eye, my hook point, my bend is up this way. So I've got my hook point on top, my eye right here. I always want it up because I want this line to go down through the hook eye, right? So I've got my main line coming down through my hook eye, I've got my tag end going out here, and what I'm actually going to do is run out of enough and create a loop, okay? So I've got, I've got a hold of my hook right here, I've got this loop, and I'm just going to lay it right there right now, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this loop I've made and I'm going to pinch it right here on the hook eye. Now when I'm using fluorocarbon, I'm going to make sure push this line up against, tight up against this eye, okay? And I want it on top and I'm actually going to start some wraps. Okay, and I'm going to wrap that and I'm going to make sure that they stack. Okay, I'm only going to wrap it a couple times with this rope is it, so I, that I'm able to cinch this down and show you. But 20 pound test line, you're probably going to wrap it about four times. If you're using something a little lighter, you, you'd add a wrap. Braid, probably do it five times maybe because it's slick enough that you can get away with it. But once I go, once I've stacked loops over the shank, then I'm going to stick it through. You can see I've stuck it through that loop. When I do that, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to pull. Now, listen, with fluorocarbon, this is critical. Lubricate this up, stick this in your mouth and get it good and wet. And I want you to pull really easy and really slow. If you go to pulling fast, you're going to create heat right here where this wrap is. And you're going to have problems with brakes. You need to pull really slow and easy and get it tight and then take your tag in and tighten down the rest, okay? But now you have your main line going down through the hook eye, coming out the bottom, you've created your wraps, and you've got this cinch right here. This is a snail knot, it's not coming apart. That's when I want a, want a heavy pank, and the reason why I'm gonna do that is because I'm using a heavy sinker. And I tie this knot simply so that there's no knot wraps on top of my hook for that weight to pound down on and damage that knot. That's my snail knot and that's what I use to tie when I'm heavy flipping.